as they move to the southeast, as this one moves to the southeast and intensifies, the southwest winds up there in the clouds will continue to draw some warm moist air in over very cold air. Where? Here, in the northeast part of the country. Is it cold out here tonight? You bet it's cold. Saranac Lake, New York, 20 below with a wind chill value of 53 below zero. That's what it feels on the skin as if, if wind were not a factor. That's what the thermometer might read. Well, as this trough sharpens or this upper level disturbance strengthens and slows, that'll keep this warm moist air overrunning the cold air at the surface. Get this, Saranac Lake, New York now, 20 below zero. At the top of Mount Washington in New Hampshire, it's two below zero. It's warmer up there. They're feeling the effects of this southwesterly wind flow. But there's more than just a passing interest. As this super cold area of high pressure moves over eastern Canada, keeping us in the cold air here in the northeast, it creates major problems for travelers and for those of us who are just sitting at home minding our own business. Because since it's warmer aloft, as low pressure develops, since this warm, moist air will overrun the colder air here at the surface, it sets up the makings of a winter storm. What kind of a winter storm? On the north edge of it, snow. We've had that in Boston. Albany, we've had some snow here today. And in northern Pennsylvania, it's snowing. But in the area shaded in orange, ice. That's where you can be a victim of a winter storm without taking one step out of your living room. How? The power goes out because trees and power lines are laden with the weight of this ice. That is happening right now here in Pennsylvania. Take a look at our current surface map and you'll see how it works out here at the surface. That upper level disturbance that we talked about is right here. That will head southeast and continue to pump the moisture in over the cold air. Now the cold front is through Pennsylvania. It's made its way south. Here's the moisture overrunning it. Interstate 81 in Pennsylvania, a sheet of ice here tonight. The western extent of the Pennsylvania Turnpike is iced over. Many roads are closed and impassable tonight just because of the ice. So please be careful. And if you've heard about the ice in your area, winter storm warnings, quarter of inch of ice here, half an inch of ice there, power outages are a certainty. So prepare for that. Get the candles out, the flashlights, they're battery powered, whatever you need. Weather radio, radio, generator, whatever it takes. Power is going out in Pennsylvania and in New Jersey as the day wears on. Now this is all snow. Snowing in Binghamton, not snowing in Albany, but it will later on tonight. Current temperature there, two below zero. As the next batch of warm air overruns the super cold air at the surface, and that'll be here tomorrow, snow will change over to ice. So it's going to be a problem for our friends not only in the Keystone State, but in the Empire State as well. Here in Boston, we're 14. We've got some snow. Step outside, it feels as if it's 17 below zero. And here's the forecast during the day on Thursday. Low pressure heads toward the northeast. Ice, there you have it, across Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Snow will migrate northward, and then snow will change to ice here in New York State tomorrow night. New York City, an ice storm tonight with some sleet. Absolute glaze on the sidewalks here tomorrow. Please be careful. And then there's that next storm that will dive southward. It's already put down six to eight inches of snow in the eastern Dakotas, and blizzard conditions are taking place right now in the state of Minnesota where it is cold too. Eight degrees in Minneapolis with a wind chill of 17 below. So we've got some nasty winter weather and we'll have more details on it and your forecast for tomorrow coming up next.